I wouldn't try jumping if I were you. He couldn't control everything after all. I remember when this bridge collapsed not long before you came. It's a relief to see how time and nature together could outplay even him. How an unforeseen accident can ruin a life's work. I can't deny that his failure brings me joy. Unfortunately, I still need you to stay on his path. I think I may be able to guide you through. But first, I need to show you something. Now, follow me. You will not fall. Don't look down. to our sanctuary. He removed the crystals to darken these tunnels. Let's have some light. I suppose he wanted to hide this place from you. It's not far from here. I brought him here once, too. Surprisingly, it is one of the only places he didn't ruin since then. But I doubt he kept it intact simply out of respect. This is the place we once called the Great Hall of the Amajat the Shrine of the Seekers. You must look around and find some blue crystal powder to cast into the fire. Crystal powder.
Good. Now use the crane up there to throw the powder into the fire. Now, it is time I told you the story of my people. It is time you learned the truth about this world. The Delmar was a great, noble, and prosperous civilization. They were people of peace, a thriving society of wisdom and art. Then, everything changed. At the dawn of the Third Age, we were attacked by the shadows. Over the years, our colonies have fallen one by one. The shadows have slaughtered our settlers without mercy. They filled our hearts with terrible fear. In the great halls of Unnatko, the capital city of our world, the Circle of Elders have chosen three of our best people. Roran, the most skilled warrior. Theodore, the brightest of all scholars. A devoted shaman, me. We were called the Amajat, the Seekers. Our goal was to find a legendary place of great power, Quernalak. We embarked on a journey to face the unknown and to find what was hidden. This quest has forged a strong friendship between the three of us. Over the years, we visited countless worlds. We became exhausted and shattered under the weight of the responsibility. We learned that the shadows had reached the outer walls of Unatko. We almost lost faith, but we couldn't stop. As we kept searching, we found a world that astonished all of us. This very world. Here, we found what we needed the most. Time. Time to find a way. A way to save our people. Our worries trapped us here, knowing that our home is only safe if we stay on this island. The search was over. We knew that finding this island in our time of need was not an accident. It gave us hope. And we started to believe that this world was Quernalak. Over centuries, we perfected our expertise. We, the Amajat, have become idols of strength, intellect, and discipline. But it was not enough. The infinite time we have been given made us obsessed with the overcoming urge to save our people. As we kept training and learning, pursuing power slowly became our only passion. We had risen above the boundaries of the body and mind. Eventually, we almost forgot the very principle of our mission. And then, I had a vision of our people. I saw their suffering. At that moment, I understand we had become the very power we were sent to search for. It was time for us to head home. I knew we were prepared. We were ready to face them. But the shadows were no longer my worst fear. I was afraid of what we had become. I was afraid of facing reality. We appeared at the edge of doom. Most of our great city was burning in flames. Unatko, our home, was about to fall. And then, we vanquished our enemies. There was no fight. They couldn't fight back. We cleansed our city of the shadows. A war that had lasted years ended in seconds. We were the saviors. We were celebrated like gods. And that's exactly how we felt. But we knew that the people we saved were not really our people anymore. We no longer belonged here. 
we felt we were more. After witnessing our power, people lost their faith in the Council. We, the Amajat, have taken their place. But having fulfilled our destiny, the strong bond between the three of us started to fade. A new era has begun. The era of division and conflict. As our disagreements became stronger, we turned against each other. This caused the people to take sides. A war has erupted from within. A war we were too proud to stop. Chaos rumbled across the streets of Unatko. We watched our once thriving society fall apart. Our home was destroyed. All because of us. Because of what we have become. I couldn't live with myself. I couldn't bear the great emptiness I felt anymore. I left what remained of my world for one final journey. Following the path we once walked upon, I found Quelnanok once again. But I did not come back for its power. I came back to face the curse that made me forget who I was. I spent centuries meditating on my past mistakes, trying to find a way to make up for what I'd done. By accepting the loss of all attachments that kept me in the physical world, I managed to ascend to a new form of existence. In this way, I will never lose myself again, and I can guard this place for eternity. He didn't want you to know about our heritage. He didn't want you to see how the power of the island can ruin an entire civilization. He too wants to ignore it, but you must know the truth. He cannot accept the destructive power of this knowledge that he worships above all else. No civilization could contain this kind of power, especially not a single person. It is time for you to return to his path. I will meet you back at the entrance.
These are the lower levels of the mechanics. It was here I learned that all the attributes of the different minerals could be harnessed by dividing the energy beam of the white crystal. The shortage of crystalline materials no longer hindered my work. With this knowledge, I was even able to isolate green crystal beams, the exact same energy ray that the ancient gateways use. This could suggest that there is a connection between this world and the origin of the ancient gateways. Focusing on my work helped me deal with the unbearable loneliness that started to consume my mind.
of eternal solitude tortured me beyond imagination. It even overcame my sense of duty. It made me homesick. I felt like I was suffocating. I knew that I would have to find a way to escape, but before that, I needed to do something. I wanted to reveal Quern to all worlds, to share this incredible power. At the beginning of your journey, I asked you to cooperate with me. This is the point where I require your assistance. Help me to give the worthy a chance and the opportunity to make a difference. <laughs> 